Peggy 3. With money being such an important part of contemporary football, it's vital that football managers' financial model is as realistic as possible. To keep on top of this, we've made a number of significant tweaks in FM13 that make finances for both clubs and individual players more realistic. One significant change is that each country's specific tax regime is now taken into account when players negotiate their contracts. So if two clubs in countries with different tax rates are offering similar wages, the more mercenary players will factor that in and choose to go with a country with the lower tax rate. You can now see an estimation of what players will be paid after tax at the bottom of the contract negotiation screen, so it's worth doing some homework now on tax regimes to see how this can help or hinder you, depending on the country that you're planning to manage in. We've also spent a lot of time looking into the effects of the current recession on global football, and we've dug deeply into the finances of dozens of clubs at different levels from around the world. All of which has not only led to FM13 having a more accurate financial model, but it also adds an extra element of challenge. One of the things that we noticed when doing this was that we were actually massively underestimating non-football costs, which essentially mean things like rent and the wages that are paid to non-footballing staff. By improving this area, we've been able to make the clubs operate more like their real-life counterparts. If you're worried that this will make finances more complicated than in previous FMs, you would be pleased to know that that's not the case for you as the manager. This is because you can now also see what your projected finances are for the coming months and years, which help you plan. When you go onto the finances screen, there's now a new tab alongside summary, expenditure, income and salary, which is called projection, and clicking on it shows you predicted figures for turnover, expenditure, profit or loss, total wage costs and your balance. It also displays information projecting what player wage bills will be for the next three seasons. A brief statement on the projected state of your club's finances is also included in your monthly board confidence update, so it'll be easier than ever before to keep track of your club's financial security and to plan for any periods of possible financial trouble. So those are a couple of the main changes to the financial model in FM13. We know you'd rather spend your time thinking about what goes on the pitch rather than what goes on on the balance sheet, but you know what they say, look after the pounds and the points will look after themselves.